Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to CBK. Welcome back to me and my batshit crazy hairdo today. Yeah, things are a little bit out of control. Right, what are we doing today? Checking attendance, free time, workshop, free time, visit. Oh, a visit. We haven't done that for a while. A visit's quite easy. Have we got ourselves back on the list here? No, we have not, which is a bit of a shame. Alright, so this is telling me that for the third time I need to go and uh, break into the underground lab, the secret under underground lab, and get more evidence. So this is the third day in a row I've had to do this. And it's weird. Oh, hang on. Where am I going? I've got to go to the morgue. Wow, going completely the wrong way. Right, so financially we're not doing too badly ourselves. $615 uh, in our pockets. The prison, on the other hand, not doing quite so well. That's the prison yard. Where the hell is it? Death Row, there we are. Death Row, oh my god. I, I, it's a part of the game that I just feel really uncomfortable with. I want to know what's in there. It feels like there's parts of the game. I wonder if on release day these doors are going to be accessible. Just so there's still a little bit of something that nobody knows about until release day. Possible, isn't it? Oh my god, I hate this room. Oh, I hate this room. Oh, it makes me shiver and quiver and recoil in horror. It's nasty as hell. For a minute there, I didn't think it was going to open. All right, let's see if we can do this today. Here comes what's his face. Yeah, out of sight. Obviously, he can't hear me when I'm walking, so that's all good. Hey, we're nearly level 14, senior officer. photo of that. Oh. What are these two guys doing? Right, now I've paid him a lot of money over the last couple of days to ignore the fact that I'm coming in stealing drugs and... Uh... Aha! Report Kenneth Duncan to the police. Get away, dude. Get away. Oh, oh crappy crap. Ooh. It's a good job they're about as intelligent as a squashed gnat, isn't it? They should have, by rights, caught me about 20 times by now. Right. Okay, then. That's a mission accomplished. Now we need to go and report... Duncan whatever. Who do I report to, though? Report Kenneth Duncan to the police. How am I going to do that, exactly? Kenneth Duncan is the warden, right? So he's the phone. So he's the computer. Huh. How do I report him to the police? Maybe on my radio? Can't be the radio, that makes no sense. Hmm. So, yeah, 
I'm quite sure how, how I'm going to achieve that. Let's maybe get our jobs and tasks for the day done, and then I'll come back and look at how to further expand upon this. We can't get in there, look. The cell block bleed B. Right, use the lever to open the doors. In case of riot, do not lock in here. They are coming. Billy was here. Oh my god, look at this. Handcuff me, Miss Officer. <laughs> okay. Right, what are we doing? To, uh, checking attendance. Right, here we go. Oh, seriously? Jimmy Lee, pack it in. Sorry about that, Kenneth. You know what Jimmy's like at first thing in the morning. Charles, get out here. You're not going anywhere. I think you are. Look at me new stick, huh? Do you like that? I suggest you get your ass out here. Lickety split. I click you. Hello, Olaf. At roll call, you're supposed to be in front of your cell. Roll call helps us keep things in order. You can't count to ten in your head. Do you want to stay in the cell for the rest of your day or what? There you go. Excuse me. Oh, it wasn't him, it was you. You're having some as well. Right, come on. It's getting beyond a joke, gentlemen. Every morning. Who did I miss over here? Somebody. Michael Jones. Michael Jones is... Where is Michael Jones? Michael Jones, where are you? There you are. So it says end. So maybe I do need to do that at the end of the day. So. We now know that my stamina does not increase when I'm doing weights for money, but only when I'm doing weights for weights. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't spot that at all. So thank you for shouting that out. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and try and boost our stamina. It feels to me like our stamina has decreased over time. If I'm being totally honest. Dude, you're going to have to move. Need you to move, Robert. Listen, I don't want to have to do this. Thank you very much. There you go, see? A little bit of negotiation. Never hurt anybody. So I was working in the uh, in the garden yesterday, preparing the foundations for uh, a new shed, and um, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've done manual labour, and I am aching from fingertips to toes this morning. I've uh, bruised all of my hands, I was getting proper stuck in, and um, yeah, it feels kind of good actually. I don't feel as bad as I thought I was going to. I thought it was going to be really bad. I was only out there for maybe, I don't know, eight hours with an hour break in the middle. But, um, yeah, when you haven't done that sort of thing for a while, it can really uh, knock you about a bit. Right, so that should give us a little bit of extra stamina. Now I can get all the way to the door, look, before it runs out, which is good. All right, what's next up? Get to the prisoners from the cell block. Sounds like we're doing a workshop. That's what I was thinking. 
choose which prisoners will go. Alrighty, let's do it. That's not this guy, because he really annoys me. Corey, definitely. Kenneth, you're up. Brian. Charles. Jean. Duncan, or whatever your name was. Olaf. And Matthew. Now, I don't normally pick these guys. I've got a sneaky suspicion they're all going to be kicking off and fighting and stuff. But that's okay. I've got no illegals on me. I'm being a, a good police officer this week. Follow me, gentlemen. Time to earn your pay or your keep. Or pay your penance, whatever it is. I wonder if these things up here can get unlocked. I really hope so. It all looks to be in place. I'm sure they're gonna, on release day, unlock loads of extra stuff. In you come, boys and girls. Hang on, why is he looking at Corey? Hates Matt Miller. It's Charles Larson, Corey Thompson, being close, Michael Jones. Hmm, interesting. I have to keep my eye on these boys today. Oh god, go away. There's your hammer. It's hammer time. There's your file. Oh, right, gentlemen. What was that already? Right, let's have you all working bloody hard all day, please. Because I'm itching to give someone a little tickle on the head. And I am not kidding. Now, he started fighting, so... Oh my god, look at his neck! <laughs> you will be punished. Oh, not you. Oh my good god. You have some as well, because I'm getting annoyed with all of you. Right, you, mate. Hang on, you, mate, first of all. You're punished. Uh, no leaving the cell. Yeah, enjoy your time. Uh, who's the other guy who was fighting? Oh, weird. There's no indicators over anyone's heads right now. Alright, fine. 40 seconds. One minute and 40 seconds left of these idiotic, moronic douchebags. Let's just have a little look see here. Make sure there's no stuff hidden away that shouldn't be. No contraband in there. That's good. And in there. All looks to be fine. Everyone seems to be working quite well today. Good. Very good. Well, uh, there was a little bit of trouble there, wasn't there, in the middle, but we, we got it sorted. Everyone seems to be behaving quite well now. Everyone's working hard. It's over a hundred dollars made for the uh, for the prison. Which, let's face it, benefits them more than it does anyone else. Sure it's extra slow. Okay, 
Okay, 10 seconds left. Let's get him in. Roll call that bad boy. Shifts up, gentlemen. Thank you for your work today. Much appreciated. Except for some of you. Far too many clicks. Just give me the flipping tool. Give me the tool, Billy boys. Thank you, gentlemen. Right, let's make sure we've got it all back. Everything's back in place. Perfect. Right. Shakedown. Pieces of wood? I mean, what benefit is there to pieces of wood? What would you use that for? Very small baton. Uh, no, I'm confiscating it. Yeah, I'm taking it, mate. Sorry, gone. We're in good cop duty now. We're about to take on the police. No, we're about to take on the boss. And report him to the police somehow. Oh, God. This is the end of our deal. No saying All right. So, everyone, follow me. I like my new baton. That looks pretty cool. I'm glad I spent $300 on that. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous amount of cash I spent on the new baton. But, uh, yeah. Got to do these things, haven't you? You got to try them out, see what they like. Right, gentlemen. I come to my baton at soon. My favourite fuzz. What's up, dude? I have reached level fourteen. And we got some free time. Whoops. Hey, Bunty. Clint, how's it going, buddy? Right, what should we waste some time doing today? Oh, come on. For that team. I kind of feel like a bit of Shanghai. Yeah, let's do a bit of Shanghai. Maybe I can beat you in 10 seconds. And a few quid. God, my accuracy is well off today. Got a chance, though. <laughs> That's how you do it, boys and girls. You just walk in, throw the three darts, and take the money. Right, we're on visitor duty. Let's see who's gonna behave and not behave today. It's got an itchy bum. Time to move. Uh, no. Did you like that? Jim, time to leave, mate. Jim, 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 Jim. Time to go. No. Brian? Oh, I can't click on anybody today. Good man. Right, so they're all behaving themselves. Very good, very good, very good. What are you doing? Just lost your temper. Cool down and you sit down. Okay, cool down and sit down. That seems to work. William, time's up, buddy. No. Nope. Got to get 12 of you done today. Time is done. Move out. Thank you. Thank you. They get such a short amount of time. I feel like they should have more time. Look, you had like five seconds.
Hmm. Time to go, buddy. I can understand why they get so narky. I mean, they really are getting a lot of time. I'm going to start giving them more time, I think. Um, because it's going to boost their, their rep. It's going to boost my rep with them. So, uh... Let's do it. Let's let them have a little bit of extra time. Eugene, Jean, whatever your name is. Time to go, mate. Oh, bum. The first one I was going to let have extra time and I ran out of time myself. Right, okay then. What's up next? Go to the briefing room and talk to the guard. It says, report Kenneth Duncan to the police. But how do I do that? Security room. Can I do it in here somehow? Hmm, I'm not sure how to do this. This gate doesn't seem to be closing. Um, oh, where am I going, actually? I'm going back this way. Uh, yeah. How on earth am I meant to do this? So that's the prison yard. Is it possible I can go to the entrance and do something there? No. Weird. You're a police officer. I don't want to talk to you, he says. All right. Well. There's got to be some way of doing this. Let's talk to Barry Scott. Okay, so uh, nothing's happened at all here. Prisoner respect, guard respect, everything is exactly the same. Um, we've got over a thousand dollars. Oh my god, what happened there? We've got over a thousand dollars to spend on the prison itself. I'm actually going to go into the next day because reporting Kenneth Williams to the police clearly is something I need to do now. I just don't quite know how to do it. I've got to figure that out somehow. I don't think I can do it in the prisoner yard. Canteen makes no sense. I've already tried in security. It's not going to be in the showers, is it? Shooting range? Do I have something in here? Like a, a phone, a radio, or... Something, somewhere. Am I going to do this?
I'm going to pause it a minute and I'm going to go look around and see what I can figure out. Um, I feel like I need a phone or something like that, but I'm, I don't know where I'm going to find one. Leave it with me, I'll see what I can do. I found it! I've looked at literally every phone everywhere. I just contacted the devs and said, how the hell do I call the police? And then I discovered this. It doesn't seem to show up on the other side of the wall, look. So there's no indication that I need to come in this room to speak to this phone. But anyway, this must be it. Nebraska Police Department, how may I help you? I have an important information about... Yes, what about him? I've evidence that he's the head of a drug dealing gang. I understand. Where should the police unit be sent to verify the evidences? To the prison in Nebraska. The police officers will be there soon. So all of my shifts have been cancelled for a random reason. Now I need to go and speak to the warden. Here we go. Let's see how well this goes. Hello, Kenneth. What do you want? I'm quite busy right now. Let's just cut to the chase. I know about your drug business. I've gathered enough evidence to send you behind bars for a long sentence. I see, he says. So you were sniffing around. I knew I should have kept an eye on you more, but you were doing your job quite well, which lulled me into a false sense of trust. Well, that's on me, but you know, I really like you. Maybe we might be able to cut you a deal. The police are on their way here. Is that so? Well, it's a pity that it should end this way, but you leave me no other choice. So it has begun. What have you done? I executed Plan B, which means destroy all evidence and witness statements and disappear. In a few minutes, this place will no longer exist. You can try and prevent that, but I'm not going to stay here to see if you succeed. Goodbye, and I wish you luck. Okay, he's put bombs everywhere. And I'm not very good at disarming bombs. So far, I've disarmed them all, but eight times out of ten, I don't actually know how I did it. <laughs> Which is always good fun, isn't it? Uh, where is it? Where the bloody hell is it? The audio is not good enough in this game to detect where the audio, where it's coming from. I like it, but... There it is. Oh, crappy crap. Three minutes. All right. So what have I got to do? Say one, three, eight, five. One, three, five, eight. One, five, three, eight. One, five, eight, three. One, eight, three, five. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Okay, one down. Goodness me. What's next? Where's the next one? Oh, can we, uh... So I don't you worry about it. I'll deal with it. It's all fine. I guess you just I... carry on as if nothing's gonna explode on you in three seconds' time. Where's where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Am I blind? Where is it? Oh, crappy crap.
What the hell is this? Hmm. Is it going to go that way? Okay. Two down, one to go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it in... I can't tell where it is. Is it in the... No, I think it's in the, uh, the underground bomb in the morgue. Oh, it tells me up there in the right. Look at that. I'm so busy, like, focusing on what I've got to do. I'm not seeing the uh, the advice or the guidance that's up there. Come on. Stamina. 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 Let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. We have time for this. I can hear it beeping. Okay. So okay, I've got to get the key. I've got to get the key to the lock. Why can't I move anything? Well, what happened there? Nothing's moving now. Do I, only, do I only get one chance at it? Come on. I can't be right. How do I reset? Oh, there. Reset. Okay. So I do only get one chance at it. So down. Move across. Move over. Move over. Move all the way up. Move down. Locked. Uh... Did it. Oh, hang on, there's another one. Find the warden at the main entrance. Okay. This is going to kick off and get aggressive, isn't it? I mean, it's got to, really. He's willing to blow up the entire prison. I'm pretty sure he's not going to qualm about putting a bullet in my face. Main entrance, main entrance. This is it. Kenneth? Where do I have those goddamn keys? You, you can't stop me. I'm not going to die with you. Nobody's gonna die. You I the the bombs. What? How did you do that? This place can teach you a trick or two. And are you? And are what are you gonna do now? And what are you gonna do now? We're gonna wait for the police. I think I can hear the sirens. Yes. Take that. Never liked you, Kenneth. Right from the start. Pasta La Vista, baby. Daily News. Warden. Dealer. This is the finish line of the story mode we cooked up for you, but it's not the end. Now it's time for your own adventure. Starting now, the game changed into free play. You're the director and everything in the prison is under your jurisdiction. You can now schedule all routines on your own. Have fun. Cool, now we're in charge. That's a nice little... Uh... Well, hang on, I still can't log into my computer. That's, that doesn't make any sense. Uh... 
How does this work then? Go to the briefing wall room and talk to the guard. Okay, let's do that. Maybe yes. that's where we decide what's going to happen. I don't know. All done? Yes, it's over for today. Okay. So. Aha! Uh -huh. So, I get to pick my own routines. So I can have releasing prisoners. I can have uh, uh, induction. I can have application processing. I can do um, uh, parcels, workshop, prison stroll, continue. Does, does it just continue pretty much the same vein? Like, can I now get into my... I still can't get in as the Warden Master. Can I delete his account or something? That seems a little bit silly. So yeah, it just kind of continues on from this point then. So now it's all about upgrading the prison and achieving everything you can. Unlocking abilities. Got two skill points remaining. What can we do? Authority level two. Oh, there we go. Now I can, uh, with that new upgraded skill, I can theoretically uh, identify any items that have hidden goods in them uh, without having to actually search them. So, uh, yeah, I think we've done it. I think we completed the game. And uh, a bloody good game it was, too. I definitely enjoyed it. Lots of fun. Um, they kind of dragged it out a little bit at the end. I feel like they could have done that much better than they did. But um, overall, I definitely enjoyed it. Very good game indeed. So there you go, look, it immediately ticked the book because it's green. I don't need to search the book at all. And that's it. Jobs are good. Cool. Right. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been incredibly demanding, but a lot of fun at the same time. Uh, the game comes out tomorrow, so hopefully you'll have got your whistle wet enough to want to get access to this game. And I really hope they can expand upon it and do more with the game itself. I think it's a brilliant, a brilliant game in its own right. But now that it's here, it's like, wow, what could Prison, Prison Simulator 2 be like? How could they expand this? How could they improve it? I think there's a lot that could be done. And um, I'm really hoping and looking forward to seeing it all. And uh, hopefully you'll come and join me when I do do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye for now.